Hello Helldivers and welcome to another Helldivers 2 news video. Today we're going to cover the new stratagem we just unlocked, the airburst rocket launcher and a lot of the community thinks it's kind of bad but I'm here to disagree. There aren't any new leaks but there's still a bunch of cool things happening over on reddit that I'm going to share with you guys. So if this is not the first one of my videos to come across your homepage make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And let's go! With incredible speed and quickness, the Helldivers were able to liberate the planet of Penta. 90% of Penta's chemical factories have been secured. Fleet-wide distribution of airburst rocket launchers can now commence. Most of the chemical technicians who have been trapped on the planet were rescued. Tragically though, some had already perished by the time we reached them, having succumbed to the toxic fume poisoning. The automatons show no hesitation in the use of chemical warfare against civilians. The sacrifice of those heroes will never be forgotten. Am I the only person who's not surprised at the use of caustic chemicals by the socialists? I mean, come on, it's pretty much on brand. And some people were fighting me in the comments of my previous videos saying, no, the airburst rocket launcher is not that good, it's going to be a very good team killing weapon and I gotta admit, they are kind of right, but you are also seeing gameplay from it in the background and I gotta admit, I love this thing. And look, I see on reddit people are going crazy about how good it is at killing your teammates but how bad it is at killing the enemy units and I simply gotta disagree. You just need to make sure you have a clear line of sight of a bunch of enemies and just shoot at the trash mobs because this is a cluster rocket so it works as intended. It does do very very high damage and I'm going to feature a bunch of creators who have shown us the proper way of using it. First up the real switch bit showing us that it can indeed take down the automaton dropships with a well placed rocket in the undercarriage. It works wonders. Next up we have Protoform X87 with an airburst rocket PSA. I've seen a lot of people claiming it sucks or it doesn't work. It is not a close range weapon, an anti heavy weapon, an anti air weapon good for detonating near your team. It is a long range anti group weapon, a long range anti fabricator nest weapon. In my limited experience it works great when used correctly, I've run solo missions with it, force stacked it with friends successfully. I went all anti heavy stratagems, precision orbital strike, rail cannon strike 500 kg and used the rocket launcher to clear groups at a distance and to take out fabs at range. In a force stack with randos one guy didn't learn how to use it after failing multiple times and kept team killing us. He then went in voice chat and said this weapon sucks. Don't be that guy, learn when and how to use it, that is all. It has proximity sensors on it, don't use it if overcluttered terrain is in front of you and it is good against weak anti airs like shriekers not against dropships. And I gotta say the boy has a point on pretty much everything he said. This does track well with my experience with the airburst rocket launcher as well, it's very good at taking out clumps of enemies but not that good against heavily armored units. There is also an application for that but you need to aim at the ground and you need a little bit of luck but it can work out. That will be featured in one of the upcoming posts but first I wanted to share with you that it can actually take down those pesky stratagem jammers. Defiant clone over here is taking down a stratagem jammer in two rockets which considering he is doing it from about 50 to 70 meters shows that this rocket launcher does have incredible utility. If you are still not convinced we have Voyavoto 101 who shows us airburst is kinda neat because it can kill walkers with the help of another stratagem. Here he drops an ego air strike on the walker and then shoots the airburst right at its feet. And as you can see it's super effective against the factory strider which has been dubbed the most difficult enemy in the game. Next up we have a great video from Emptiness showing us exactly how to use the airburst rocket. And I kinda like the name he gave it, the skill issue rocket launcher. <laughs> and the first advice, don't shoot if something is near, which makes a lot of sense and here's an example which shows a rocket sentry activating the proximity detonation of the airburst. Of course the next one, very obvious, is to not stay close to your target because well that will blow you up. Next up we have an explanation on why you should not be using it against heavy units and a little bit of a breakdown of the technical stuff. To break this down, this basically has the necessary armor penetration only on a perfectly aligned shot which is very difficult to get. Next we have don't shoot directly at enemy faces because direct shots make the clusters fly outward. Instead shoot at the ground, if you shoot at the ground you will make the most of the cluster rockets that spawn out of your big rocket. Also move backwards after you shoot just to make sure you stay clear. Next make sure you shoot anything which is in your line of sight first before you shoot at the big Stuff. And another obvious advice, it works best if you have a clear line of sight and shoot at something that is far away from you. Also as we've seen, use it for objectives. But if you're still not convinced, we have spits on the current state of the new stratagem. 
This is a complicated question to answer. The major build update next week is going to push out an intended final version of the Airburst rocket launcher and mines. Or rather, push out a bunch of fixes for some issues with both of them. So the version you're using right now doesn't have those fixes attached. It wasn't guaranteed whether the community would be able to get access to both stratagems before the next patch, so the current version in game is in a playable state but likely to perform differently after we move into the next patch. I am also not sure if the fixes for these stratagems are in the initial build release or the first hotfix, but both are scheduled for next week. Which tells us two things. First, if you're disliking the airburst so much, don't worry, fixes are on the their way. And second, next week we are getting two different patches. And this is perfectly in line with everything else I've been saying in my past couple of videos that more patches are incoming and most likely we'll get a bunch of stability fixes very soon. So hold on to your capes Helldivers, it's about to be an interesting ride. Next up from Cecio the Camper, just a very funny video, he thought he was throwing a 500 kg bomb but instead did an incredibly cool Kobe shot. You just see how the spirit of the Black Mamba took over his body and he just made that shot perfectly. Swish. Next up we have Lunatic Sandwich taking on the role of the Matador. He got attacked by three chargers on a difficulty 7 mission and not only did he break their ankles but then you see him using a jetpack to get away and throw a 500 kg bomb on top of their faces just spectacular performance. Next up just a very funny image of a podium with first, second and third place. On first place now we have the airburst rocket launcher, on second we have the regular mortar and on third we have the cluster bomb ego strike. I guess if you know you know. And I'm not sure if you know about Tarkov or not but they basically released a $250 pay to win version of their game and Helldivers 2 respond in kind. Be sure to check out the deals in the acquisition center today. With prices so low, they're practically unheard of. True believers can grab the CM21 Trench Paramedic for only 250 super credits, featuring increased pocket size and extra stims. Not available for free to super citizens. <laughs> I gotta admit, that was just so funny because a new pack in Tarkov for 250 bucks allows you to get all future DLC with free extra items which are super buff. So yeah, getting OP stuff from the season in perpetuity because you paid a bunch of money, that does kinda sound like pay to win to me. And Arrowhead could not respond in a better way. And I might sound like a little bit of an ass, but this is what we need more of. Good studios making fun of bad studios. Arrowhead are out here with the smoke. Next up, something I thought I would never get to report on. Spitz goes in the Discord. Okay, the spear lock-on was indeed fixed 17 days ago, so it's probably just waiting for a patch to go live. And oh my god, this just makes me so excited. Finally, the spear might become useful. Watch out for that next patch, guys, because we're gonna go crazy on it. Then something just really cool, Helldivers has taken over my IRL town. I went to buy groceries at the supermarket. The butcher counter guys and the self-checkout guys were each talking about Helldivers. Then I went next door for a coffee on the way home. The baristas also were talking about Helldivers. The next day I went for a walk near my house. Some dog walkers were talking about Helldivers. Later I went out for a burger. On the way there I saw at least one Helldivers bumper sticker. While I waited for my burger to cook, the occupants of two tables were talking to each other about Helldivers. Today I went back to the store. A butcher and a barista from the other day were loitering outside discussing Helldivers. I wonder where I will meet the next one. And guys, I don't know if it's this way for you, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below, but it's definitely this way for me. I'm talking about Helldivers with my colleagues, I'm talking about Helldivers with some of my ex-colleagues, and I'm talking about this game with a whole bunch of my friends. This game is absolutely absolutely an amazing success for Arrowhead Studios. Next up we have Martechi Falkberg with some technically fan art of what a Helldivers 2 themed space ship shooter would look like. Sadly I cannot play the audio since it has some copyrighted music but even without it you can see just from the intro this is going to be dope as F. The cool part is you can even see stratagems at the top left corner of the screen which is just some incredible attention to detail and this thing looks absolutely amazing. You can 100 100% see why the Ego 1 pilot is definitely Bay. I really hope they didn't cut off her legs though. But yeah, this is an absurdly cool idea and I can only wish for us to see it in game, which it, I think it's pretty reasonable for us to say it's not going to happen. 
but I guess it's just nice to have a dream. But that's about it for the video, guys. I hope you really liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.